I send the uh, latest unbearable book, but I have second re revisions done today, this morning. A Trump story, The Revolution Blues. During times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act by George Orwell. <laughs> Like Animal Farm. <laughs> okay, the rich in New York City are having a revolution on the poor people. They want to starve us from this blighted Lower East Side neighborhood so that better housing can be built. Even the fascist government participates when aligned with Russia's politics. They protect the rich by providing tax-free programs for developers as well as owners of condos, luxury co-ops, and homes worth millions in the housing market. Once I was told that the Ray Supermarket Pathmark in the middle of Rutgers housing projects in the Lower East Side will be Trump slash Kushner's new luxury tower for millionaires. I grew up in those housing projects like many poor Asians in America. The poor depended on the supermarket's low prices and its closest vicinity. Now the poor have to walk over to Grand Street or to Delancey 6th Street Market. <coughs> this methodology slowly causes starvation, famines, and deaths in the community. The revolution has begun when Trump announced his <coughs> candidacy for presidency. Once the path mark and construction for the luxury condo began by Kushner's agency. This will cause the masses to move out of the community due to no noise, pollution, land sinkages, cracks on their walls, backed up sewage waters, no parking, and other high densely populated urban problems. When the tower is completed, with the rich moving in, crimes will increase caused by the poorer minorities and immigrants become enraged with evictions and becoming homeless. Eventually, I went to the per, per, e recently I went to the periodontist to get my teeth cleaned. He has a lawyer patient who admitted that he has 40 clients interested in buying apartments. Due to the closeness of the Manhattan Bridge, a studio apartment with no view is $1.4 million. A bedroom with a northern view of the East River and Brooklyn or a northern view of Manhattan is $1.4 million. I asked, are they low fonts? No, they are from the mainland China and Chinese from New Jersey who are tired commuting, who are tired commuting commuting to the city. You mean they will sell their New Jersey mansion, swimming pool, and car to be near Chinatown? Yes, <laughs> close to their businesses and China's party member in one building. Imagine the business proposals that will improve the city. I also concur that Kushner was sent to China by Trump this year to recruit these applicants a life in America. So, New York City will be a playground for the rich to exploit the poor people. The rich revolution against the poor has control of media. I viewed 87 photos of George Clooney's wife, Amal Clooney, nay Alamuddin, who is a human rights lawyer for Maldives, a Muslim nation, the United States Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor, claims in the 2012 report on the human rights practices in Maldives that the most significant problems are corruption, lack of religious freedom, abuse, and unequal treatment of women. I became bored after viewing 40 photos of a Mal hanging expense clothes, a company with expensive accessories on her anorexic body. No wonder she can't afford to fend for the poor in a third world nation. The contradictions are prevalent like Hollywood movie produced by stockbrokers. 
Okay. The masses have peacefully protested, got locked up, harangued and be beaten up by Gestapo-like bullies. Memories of the Holocaust prevails. Later, the rebellion of the rich revolution will be underground like the underground weathermen and eventually rock concerts will dominate again. Since someone said at a punk revival that rock and roll killed jazz. Sing it. Rock and, rock and roll killed jazz.